we're fine we're finally there guys this is the last video the game is going to be complete as far as I'm concerned after this video and I will have taught you as much as I can before turning you loose on your own to do game programming on your own I know there's so many things I haven't covered in these tutorials and uh, that's partly on purpose because most of the stuff I taught you guys I learned by just trial and error and figuring this stuff out in internet tutorials and you're not going to get it all in one place but uh, I think I've given you enough tools to get you guys started and you know go off on your own you know uh, once you learn C which uh, hopefully these tutorials have helped you learn a lot about um, once you learn C the jump from C to C++ is so so much easier and from C to other languages like Objective-C it's just a great foundation so uh, we're going to tie this video off. Uh, in the last video, I pretty much, at last episode, I got most of the game mechanism in place. Uh, since then, I've added uh, a game over screen, which will quit you out if you're completely out of lives. Um, but now we're actually going to add sound effects to the game. So um, I went ahead and decided that I'm going to make four of them. I'm going to make a uh, background audio or background music for when he jumps, for when he lands, and uh, for when he dies. So first things first, uh, I need a background song. Awesome. Next, I need a sound for when he jumps. Good. Now I need a sound for when he lands. Sweet. And lastly, I need a sound for when he dies. <laughs> All right, I have everything I need to finish this game off. So uh, I went ahead here and we're just gonna show you guys the game uh, without any sound effects. So uh, I went ahead and made the stars move up and down. Um, at the end of the video, I, I guess I could show you how I did that. Um, but I'm gonna add the sound effects first because that's the main purpose of this video. And if you get hit, you burn and die and then you lose a life and then you have to uh, start over. Um, I realize since there's a hundred blocks that this level is really long. Like you have to pass a hundred of these things to win. So this game's actually really hard. Um, but time to add the sound effects. So um, I added another API called SDL Mixer and added an include to that in our in our include file. And then uh, SDL Mixer is the basic mechanism for adding sounds and being able to play them in an SDL game. Uh, I added to our game state struct four mixed chunks, which are, you can think of these as kind of the equivalent of SDL texture or SDL surface for sound. They're just sound by, uh, bits or sound, um, they're just sounds you can play. And they're basically designed for sound effects. So I got the four that I'm gonna hold here. Uh, I should say that there is a better way to play music and a much more efficient way to play music um, in SDL, which I'm not going to use because I'm lazy. Uh, but if you have a really long song, you should use like an MP3, and you should use uh, the mix uh, music uh, section of uh, or music uh, functions for SDL mixer, and not the sound effects. But my song's really short, so I'm just going to loop a wave file. So inside init, I added a, a special flag for SDL init audio, which initializes the audio. Then uh, after I initialized the two type font, SDL TTF, I added a line here to SDL mix open audio, going with all the defaults here. And 4096 is just what's called like the, uh, the buffer size or chunk size. You don't need to really worry about this. This should be good enough for most modern computers. It's just four kilobytes of, uh, I guess you can say buffer for, for playing sounds. Um, after I've done that, I went ahead and did nothing. So uh, I, I'm going to go ahead and load in our sounds. And the way I'm going to do that is inside load game at the very end, or maybe at the end of loading the images. I'm going to say load sounds. And I already have a little bit of code that does that. So we're going to load the background music. And the way you do that is you call mix load wave, which returns a dynamically allocated mix chunk for you, which you have to free or or close at the uh, end of the program. And uh, this could return null, for example, if the audio didn't initialize properly, maybe, like the person's already listening to music on an old computer. So I want to check to see um, if it's not equal to null before I actually use it. And what I'm going to do is also, since the music's kind of loud, I'm going to set 
the uh, the volume of it. And um, the way you do that is you use mixed volume chunk, pass in the chunk, and then the volume is on the scale of 0 to 128, so we're just going to half it. So that's the sound loading for the music. I'm just going to do this four more times. I don't think I need to worry about the volume of the other ones. So we got music, we got die, we got jump, and we got land. And of course, you have to close these when we're done. And the way we do that is the way we've given everything back out right before we return from main. So I'm just going to go ahead and it's probably called mix unload free free chunk. There we go. And so we God, I hate it when I have to do this search and replace crap. So we have background music, die sound, jump sound, land sound. And I'm going to go ahead and add the music first. And the way I'm going to do that is as soon as the game enters the game state, I want it to be silent uh, during the status screen with the lives. But once the game starts, I want to play the music. So the way I'm going to do that is I am going to, inside process, as soon as we enter the game state, which is right here, I'm going to play the music, and the way I do that is I make a call to mix play channel. Negative one is the first argument. That means play on any available sound channel, uh, and then the pointer to the background music is the chunk I want to play, and negative one means loop forever. This is the number of times you want it to loop, so like if you wanted to loop only once, you would put this. Zero for not looping at all, I think, and then uh, negative one for forever. So this will play the music. Um, I think we need to keep track of which channel the music was playing on because I want to stop it when you die. And the way I'm going to handle that is I'm going to add a music channel flag or integer to the um, game state struct. And we're going to keep track of it like this because mixed play channel will actually return the channel that it's played on if you don't specify one. And then when you die, what I'm going to do is mix stop. I thought it was called stop. Halt channel, I guess it's German or something. And then uh, pass in the music channel. And I'm going to do this when the status is also do that in game over. And I'm going to do that when he gets hit. That's when I want to do it, when he gets hit. These other times doesn't really make sense. So what is, when does he get hit? Uh, that's probably going to be in collision detect. He's soon as so as soon as I set man is dead one, I halt the game music channel. So that'll work. Yeah. This break basically makes sure that it doesn't keep running the for loop. If he's been hit by one star, he's been hit by you know as far as I'm concerned enough, and he's dead. That's what break means. Break is a, a statement I teach you about. It actually breaks right out of a for loop. So as soon as break gets hit, it'll exit the for loop or any loop it's in. Uh, that should get us some music. Uh, let me go ahead and verify that. There we go. And then if he's dead, the music stops. So that's exactly what I wanted. Uh, music's still a little loud, but I think it's just because I turned my volume up. Uh, next thing we need is a jump sound. So inside, probably process events is where I'm going to do that. And I added a little bit of joystick code in here that you could probably tell, uh, which just so I can more easily play the game, not have to use the keyboard. So uh, here's our jump stuff. Play channel, game, jump sound when he jumps. Not loop forever, but loop once or zero times. Uh, and then uh, I also have another joystick test for jump that I'm going to put here, and that should get us our jump sound. Okay, we got our jump sound. Now I need our land sound. 
and that simple. As soon as I set on ledge to one, that would be the time to play our jump sound, or our land sound, I mean. Hopefully this doesn't play more than once. This code wasn't designed. Uh, oh, that is the wrong place. Shouldn't be inside bumped our head. It should be in. This is wrong. Online shouldn't be set to one when I bump my head. I'm wondering if that's causing glitchiness in the uh, collision detection. Yeah, I'm playing the sound too much. So uh, how do I handle this? Um, if not, man, on ledge. There. As you probably can already tell, putting not in front of a boolean is the same as checking if it's equal to zero. So let's go ahead and look at this. I can't really hear him land too much, but I kind of wanted it to be subtle. So I think I'm okay with that. Uh, I can alter the uh, wave file later, or I could turn down the music. to be a little more subtle. I want the music to be like barely present. That's perfect. Now here comes the worst one uh, when he's dead and uh, that one's gonna be awesome. So let's go ahead and inside collision detect when we set man is dead to one. I'd like to put a little knot check in here too. And we halt the music, and then we play this sound. And this will put the finishing touches on the entire game. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. I'm proud of this game. And I made it entirely on YouTube videos. Thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions or comments about the entire process, uh, just feel free to comment or send me an email. Um, also, I'm going to upload the final game. I'm going to compile it for Mac and for Windows and upload the final Xcode project. I'm going to attach those as comments to the next video I upload, which is just going to be a video showing the game when, it, you know, animating for people that just want to see the game. So thanks for watching guys. Uh, Goodbye.